Well, we're standing here today at the, um, the A-listed Govan Graving Docks. These docks were built in the late 19th century and they were used for ship repair and maintenance up until 1987 and they've been derelict ever since. There's been various development proposals for the site over the years. Um, these haven't really engaged the community and Govan Docks Regeneration Trust since October 2018 have been running a, a consultation project called Govan Voices to engage the community in shaping a strategic vision for the future of this site. Very broadly what we found is that people are very much against um, certainly a major private housing development being created on this site. They're so close to the city centre, I think the worst possible thing that they could do is privatise it. If you privatise everything and put housing and individual private land right down to the river, then it immediately cuts off any plans for a walkway or a continuous journey along the waterfront, which is one of Glasgow's could be one of Glasgow's greatest assets if you look at what happens in other cities. I do think whatever they do, they have to maintain some sense of public space. Having the uh, Riverside Museum on the other side and having tried the wee ferry across, I think it's, uh, it's a lovely link with, with the other side of the river too. And the proposal to build a, a bridge is going to be just a brilliant idea. I mean, there's a lot of history in this part of Govan. Victorian engineering and shipbuilding was dirty, it was dangerous, people lost their lives, um, it was cold, it was wet. I mean, the Daphne, for example, was launched here and immediately sank. So it's got a very mixed um, history and heritage. But there was also huge camaraderie and um, the whole community was built around the shipbuilding industry. So you could display boats, you could display sort of floating museums. The end of docks could be used as a, a sort of amphitheatre. It opened, opened up the, the, the pump house as a, as a cafe. It was a nature, nature reserve on site as well. So, and there was just a lot of a general open space for people to just sit back and enjoy the area again, as opposed to having it cut off. It'll make a difference to smarten up the area and actually give people a sense of pride. People want it to be a community asset, they want it to be a heritage asset, they, they want it to put Govan on the map. But certainly this site has an opportunity to be a catalyst for new, new investment in, in Govan. I mean, you can see the, the size and scale of this site, you can see it lying derelict. I mean, it's, it's not hard to imagine the impact it would have on the local area, on local jobs, if this was an economically active site. My role within Govan Docks Regeneration Trust is to uh, bring the cultural and artistic perspective to engage with the community, to uncover stories and possibilities for a different sort of future for the docks. The default idea was 750 high-rise flats. Well, now there are all sorts of other ideas and visions and aspirations, including bringing jobs, training, employment opportunities back for Govan, which would be very, very welcome. There's a lot of conversation now in the maritime industry around sustainable shipping, using wind-powered ships as a way of reducing carbon dioxide emissions. Govan docks could be a, a site to service the potential for that. For the last two years, we've been uh, working uh, with five other cities in a project called Memory of Water. We've been exploring the similarities uh, of our histories and what that whole process has done, it served to raise the profile of these docks, which are basically the equivalent of our Egyptian pyramids here in Govan. They're things of beauty, that engineering prowess is, is second to none. Govan, which really is a, a district that has been overlooked by the powers that be in terms of public policy when it comes to planning but we're hoping that the, the impact of our consultation will begin a process of turning that around. You can imagine uh, a park of, of um, historic ships, of some industry, of, of some retail and social enterprise, where you can walk um, across the bridge from the tall ship at the other side, across to Water Row and experience the, the ancient history there with the governed stones and then walk along here to find out about all the, the industrial heritage. I mean, the possibilities and the, the vision for it that have been created through the Governed Voices consultation process are so exciting and way, way beyond just building high-rise flats. Mm -hmm.